Okay, so for this question, we're looking at all possible uh, toll-free numbers with the only area code being 800, so that the numbers start with 800, or I guess 1-800. Um, then there's just seven more digits, you got to remember, that come after that, right? So let's, let's say there's only seven more digits that come after. There are actually some toll-free numbers that have more, but we'll just say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So, uh, once again, for each digit, um, there's, there's 10 possibilities. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. And again, you know, I'm sure there's restrictions on some type of numbers. That, you know, there's probably no such thing as a number that goes like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and things like that. But just from, let's just imagine that all, all, all uh, permutations are possible. Um, so, if we imagine that, then um, we have 10 possible digits in the first uh, 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 spot, place, and, and we have 10 in the next place as well, right? So 10 possible here, 10 possible here, and, um, and so, and, and once again, just as we talked about before, for the two digit number, there are a hundred possibilities because because you could have zero here and then either zero one uh, so you could have zero 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 one zero two uh, zero three zero four zero five zero six zero seven zero eight or zero nine so that's ten possibilities beginning with zero but we also have ten possibilities beginning with one right okay because you got one zero one 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 two one three one four and five and six and seven one eight one nine Okay, and so that's 10 possibilities beginning with 1. Then you've got 10 possibilities beginning with 2. All right, all the way to 2, 9. 10 possibilities beginning with 3. All the way to 3, 9, and so on. And 10 possibilities begin with 9. 9, 0, 9, 1, 9, 2, and 9, 3, and so on. Right, all the way to 9, 9. So for a two digit number, remember there are 100 possibilities, right? So for the two-digit number, there are a hundred possibilities. And the other way to look at it is, look, there's ten possible here and ten possible here. And if we multiply them, that's a hundred possibilities, right? Then for a three-digit number, you could take any one of these two-digit possibilities and add another digit on the end, okay? And you would find that you have a thousand possibilities because if you take any one of those... Like let's take say um, this one uh, nine three. Okay, so if we take nine three, uh, take nine three, right? So for three digit numbers, we take nine three. Uh, at the end of nine three, you could put a zero, or you could go nine three one, and so on, right? So there's ten possibilities. Uh, 9 through 2, 9 through 3, 9 through 4, 9 through 5, 9 through 6, 9 through 7, 9 through 8, or 9 through 9. Okay? So if you take any two digit permutation, you can add another digit onto that to get 10 more, uh, 10 three digit permutations. Okay? <clears throat> so. So we have a hundred possible two-digit permutations. One hundred of these guys, right? Uh, these are the two-digit possibilities. And take any one of those two-digit possibilities and add a digit at the end, and now you've got one thousand three-digit possibilities or permutations. Okay? So one thousand possibilities or permutations or numbers, right? So, and, and, and so it's good to visualize and understand it, right, rather than just memorizing the formula. But there's 10 possibilities here and 10 here, and combine that's 100, and then times 10 again, that's a 1,000. And similarly, you can keep going, and you could take, say, <coughs> so if you, you could look at four-digit um, numbers, right? So if you, if you take any three-digit number, like let's say... We had all the three-digit, the thousand three-digit numbers right now. You take any one of those, like let's say 
Um, let's say we picked out um, the three digit number 378, okay? Now, onto 378, we can add 10 possible digits, right? I hope you visualize the four digit numbers. Because on to 378, you could add 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, right? Okay, so that makes for every three digit possibility, yeah, it can add on another digit. So for every three digit poss possible uh, number, you can add another digit on, and, and that's 10, right? So for every three digit possibility, you can make 10 four digit uh, numbers, all right? And so therefore there are 10, a thousand times 10, 10,000 possible um, uh, four digit numbers, right? Okay, and so that's why we, for a four digit number, we times it by 10 to get 10,000. And similarly, take any one of those and add it, add 10 possible digits on, and now for five digit numbers, there's 100,000. So times 10 for 100, for five digit number. For a six digit number, that's times 10, that's um, a million. And for a seven digit number, that's times 10, that is uh, 10 million, right? Or 10 to the power of seven. See, seven tens being multiplied, 10 to the power of seven, which is one with seven zeros, right? 10 million, okay? So the answer to this question would be there are 10 million um, toll-free 800 numbers, okay? 10 million toll-free 800 numbers, if, if all are allowed, okay?